and good afternoon welcome to my live video for today monday the 18th of march my phone is still playing up and i can't guess it to rotate properly so um i'm just going to stick with it as it is it's not the best view i'd much rather it was landscape but the light's going so i don't really have a lot of time to um try and suss that one out so let me show you what cards we make made today at coffee and card in toaster and we also made these the end of last week in brackley so these are the cards they feature the um rooster from a set called home to roost which you can get for free during celebration which and it ends 31st of march so this one is stamped and we did some masking which I'll talk about when we come to do that one. So here's very traditional um, sort of cockerel colours, hopefully. And the sentiment that I put on there actually comes with the stamp set itself, which I will show you in a second. And then we have this one. So same sort of thing, but with a bit more of the background in terms of um, um, design and what have you. Hi, Monica. So that's that one there, again featuring the same rooster and that same background. And then we have um, two using our note cards and envelopes, which I really like to use for coffee and card. So this one here, um, we've just stamped the rooster and punched him out with a two and a quarter inch circle punch. And then we've got a layer behind and then this lovely gingham paper and then a sentiment to go with it and that just to note um, comes with the set and then another variation of that is this one here so same sort of layout but obviously we put that one landscape rather than in portrait mode and it's using our one of our colored paper stacks hi monica from virginia us pleased to have you with us today so um yeah, so this is using the paper colour stat, the 6x6, six six, and um, you can get them in the brights, the subtles, the neutrals, and the regals. And this one is from one of the new brights, it's the Mango Melody. Love that really deep um, orange mango colour. So those were the cards that we made. Let me show you the stamp set that we're going to use. So, as I said before, this is a free stamp set that you can get between now and the end of March. And it has this lovely uh, rooster design. These grasses here, these could also be used to make um, flowers and lavender, especially if you coloured the tops of those flowers in with um, gorgeous grape or highland heather. Then you'd get the effect of um, some lavender. And then we have these sentiments. Enjoy the simple moments. Thanks for your friendship. Just a note. Hi, Jill. Missing you. Okay, and I like the style of those in particular. Sorry, there's a little bit of um, reflection on there. So that is the Home to Roost stamp set. So let me show you how we made those cards. So we are going to start with the simpler of the two. And for my choice, it's one of my favourite colours anyway, I'm going to be using Bermuda Bay. Now, for those that know me, Bermuda Bay are my team colours. So I have a lovely team of 45 ladies and they all um, know that I use Bermuda Bay. So you'll see it in all my various um, artwork, a hint of Bermuda Bay here. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do when stamping up retires that though. Hi to you Tara. So we're going to be using our note cards and envelopes. So these come as a pack of 20. They're already cut and scored. Thank you Jill. So Jill who's just commented was actually at Coffee and Card this morning. She did a great job with hers. Um, so we're using note cards and envelopes. We're using a piece of thin whisper white card to stamp on and then I pre-cut a piece of our Bermuda Bay 6 by 6 inch card paper, sorry. So that's going to fit across our note card 
like that with a little gap either side. And then I've also got some Bermuda Bay card and I've already pre-punched um, a two and a half inch circle from that. But you could also use framelits um, or scallop circles, whatever you had to hand. So we'll start with the piece of white card. Let me move that one out of the way, hoping you can see that clearly. And we're going to stamp in Memento. So this is black Memento. So it's got my name all the way over it. You can't really read the label, can you? Um, so this is our black Memento ink. Perfect for using blends, which is what we're going to be doing. And so I've got my stamp here. So I put my um, labels on the stamps. And as you can see there, the red rubber with nice thick foam and a nice tacky label on the top. So let me just grab my blocks which I had to hand and now can't see. Does that happen to you? There we go. Sorry about that. So I'm just going to pop my block onto the cockerel like so and I'm going to stamp him fairly centrally in here so I can punch him out. So I'm just going to open up the Memento ink, turn the block over and then just lightly tap all the way over. So lots of light tapping is the best way to ink that up. And I'm just going to stamp that fairly centrally on my piece of card, like so. Okay, so a nice crisp image, and it's a really nice style um, image, so it's not too detailed, um, it's not too sketchy, so you can be quite um, liberal with your colouring in. So let me just pop that to one side. So for colouring in, I'm just going to use a combination of blends. So this is um, a Poppy Parade, and I'm just going to use that for his, um, now there's a name for this, and I can't think what it's called not the crest. Somebody will help me with the name of that little piece there, I'm sure. And then I just used a combination of Mango Melody and Soft Suede and I'm just going to literally just using a circular motion wattle. I thought that was the bit underneath Jill. Is it? I don't know. You probably know more than me. You've lived in the country a bit longer. <laughs> Thank you, Jill. So this is um, some pumpkin pie ink. So I'm just going to use this for the underneath. And obviously you can do whatever um, colours you have. I'm not going to bore you filling this out in detail, but... Add a little bit of work there and then for the tail feathers what we did this morning was just use a combination of colors so um, I'm just going to literally not necessarily even fill in the tail feathers I don't know if you can see that just literally brushing them in so I've got a little bit of Bermuda Bay and then I'm going to use a little bit of um, mint macaron for a little bit sort of green tinge and I'm just alternating between the wide tips and the narrow tips and then finally I'm just going to add a little bit of dark crumb cake just to fold into that but obviously you can do lots of different colors for that um, and then just adding a little bit of crumb cake for the base here so I'm hoping that's coming out okay so those were the blends that I use love these blends pens so useful okay so there is our cockerel so I'm just going to punch him out. So I'm going to use the two and a quarter inch punch. Mine's rather well used, which is why the top's all um, wearing thin. So we're just going to pop that in with a circular punch 
and just take a minute or two to position that as we want it okay so he will just fit in okay pop him out and there's our circle and then what we're going to do is just put him together with our backing circle which I say I pre-punched and then our spotty paper so on the other side there are stripes so you could of course use the stripes be quite um, striking wouldn't it but I'm a bit of a spotty girl myself so I'm going to pop that onto there so I'm just going to use snail on the back of that and I have cut this to size so the size of our note cards are three and a half by five inches so what I did was I cut this because this comes as a six by six sheet so I cut it to five inches first and then three inches so I can get two out of each piece okay so I'm just going to pop that on there like that and also you could use contrasting colors you don't have to use the same and then we have our layers here so I'm just going to pop him on with snail you could use Tombow if you prefer gives you a little bit more wiggle room in terms of lining up I'll pop him like that and then we're going to use some dimensionals in a second to put him on and the nice thing about this design is you can decide almost at this point whether you want it landscape or portrait especially if you'd made that um, central I tend to have my top just slightly higher so that favours me putting it this way round so I'm just going to stamp my sentiment before I put those together so I've got some off cuts of white card so there's one here and I'm going to use the just to note sentiment I really like this because it's you can use it for all sorts of things you can use it for birthday you could say just a note sorry I forgot your birthday or you could use it for get well thinking of you congratulations all sorts so I'm just going to um, ink that up and stamp that hopefully fairly centrally there it is and then I'm going to just chop the end off and put a little banner on so I'm just going to grab my scissors for that something else I didn't get ready I've been rushing around today dentist and what have you so um, apologies that this is a little bit late anyway I'm hoping the light's going to last so I'm just going to pop the edge of that off and then just trim up the middle normally I would use my snips but this is more to hand there we go so I have my little banner there so now I can just work out whether I want that to go up or down I quite like that I think that's quite balanced so I'm just going to use some dimensionals now I do have some here because I've got them out ready we nearly ran out this morning we had about two left so I'm going to pop oh thank you <laughs> Jill's just up updating me on the the right bits of the cockerel and it's also red that's handy so I can do that red too so I'm just going to pop that on there just make it sure it's nice and central I'm going to pop this up with dimensionals as well one two and the ladies this morning did some lovely designs really nice colors in um, light blue and granny apple green yellow there was a really nice mix obviously they were limited to what I've taken with me but there we go okay so there's my card all right, with just a note on really quick and simple especially when you're not talking all the way through it so you could just do all the backings with some pieces of paper that you've got and then just stamp your um, cockerel and away you go 
so that's my first one and then for the second one where we're going to do this um, little bit of masking we're going to use for this one um, a four by four inch card so it's the four inches by four inches it's actually just under and the reason I use this for coffee and card is that you can get three of these cards out of one A4 sheet. So um, where I'm prepping and I need lots of different colours, it's very economical. And then what I've pre-cut out is a layer here of white that's just going to sit on that. And obviously I've got an envelope to match. So on the white piece, we're going to stamp our cockerel again. And in order to do this masking to make something look like it's behind, we stamp the cockerel first, then we cover it up and stamp over the top. All will become clear in one second. So there's my block. I'm just going to ink up my cockerel. Okay, and I'm going to stamp this one um, a bit more in the centre, like so. Okay. Now, if you're doing this at home, what you would now do, especially if you're doing it for the first time, is take a post-it note, or a note that's got some sticky on the back, so sticky notes. Let's move that out of the way. And what you would do is you would ink up the cockerel, find the bit that's sticky, and make sure that part of the cockerel, or whatever you are stamping, is on this little bit of sticky because then what we're going to do with our scissors, and I won't sit and bore you by cutting them out, but we would just literally cut around the cockle like so. Okay, And what you want to do is cut just inside of this line here, if you can. And what you will end up with, and I'm sorry these are rather scraggy and well used, because you don't need to see me just cutting them out, is something like that. So these are the post-it notes we used this morning. There's a bit of sticky left on this one. I don't think there's much. There's a little bit on this one, just on the back. So what we're going to do is take what we stamped earlier on. Hope that comes back into focus. Cover that up with our little post-it note with our image on. So obviously this could be anything. This could be flowers. Um, it could be whatever you want it to be. Then we're going to take our um, grass stamp and a block. And if ever you find this where the um, stamp is very close to the edge of the block, all I do is leave the stamp in the correct direction, but I just turn the block onto the diagonal so that you've got you can see it better. I find if it's right on the block that way and it's very close to the top and the bottom you get this weird sensation where the beveled edge is and you can't always see where the edge of the stamp is. So what I like to do is turn that so you've got more of a surface area. I'm just going to use, um, let me see, I thought I might use some Daffodil Delight because I want to make it look like, um, you know, maybe corn or something that's growing. So this may or may not work, but we'll give it a go. So, I didn't check was that was clean from this morning. So we're going to ink up our, in this case going to be corn. And I'm just following this line that you can see here and this line along the bottom, very roughly. I'm just going to pop those on there, like that. And then I'm going to do the same on this side. I'm actually going to leave a little gap in between. Okay, and now if you peel away your post-it note, you'll see that the cockerel is sitting in front. Okay, so that's a, a terminology called masking, because you're masking something off. And I know it's back to front. You expect to stamp the items behind first. But if you did that, you'd have the um, all of the lines of the grass running through the centre of the cockerel, which is not what we want. So we've covered him up. We can now do the same colouring that we did earlier on. I'll just do it very um, briefly because you don't need to see me colouring in. 
and do a little bit around there. And on this one I've actually uh, obviously covered the tail as well so we can colour in the tail as we wish. Just going to add a little bit of Bermuda Bay. Makes it look very proud, doesn't it, with a big bright tail. A little bit of that. Now we'll just actually add that in, otherwise he won't be complete. So, there we go. I'm going to add a little bit of red for the wattle, which is this bit here, according to Jill. There we go. It's not the, the other the other thing. It's not a crest. I can't. Desperately trying to think what it's called, but it does have a name. Somebody else might know that. Okay, leave a little gap for his eye. So there, there he is. And to that, I'm just going to add my sentiments. I'm going to use just a note as well. Just ink that up. This one I'm going to put centrally. Okay. Like so. And then I'm going to pop him onto a base card. Now, when I thought of this earlier, um, I thought of going green like so. Um, yes, in fact, I still will do that, but I was quite tempted to switch to Mango Melody, but there might be too much yellow in there. Comb, that's the word. Thank you, Jill. I knew somebody would come to my rescue. So for this one, I'm just going to put some snail on the back. And you can see here where the blends pens have come through. So you always want to use the blends pens on an extra layer if you can. Just adding a bit of snail dotted around. There's my card. Like so. Hoping that will get back into focus. And then obviously what we do like to do is decorate our envelopes. So for the one that matches my square card, I'm just going to add some more of the corn. Or whatever it might be. <laughs> that's growing just going to have that along the edge like that so there is our note card set sorry our square card and there is our note card so very quick and easy to do um, the whole idea of my coffee and card as you might gather is that the cards want to be um, fairly straightforward because I don't know how many people are coming to coffin cards so I need to be able to um, prep the minimum of items so all I do is take an extra pack hi to you Karen I take an extra pack of note cards and envelopes with me so that um, I can just get out another pack if I need to um, so it makes a nice combination so this was the card using the 6x6 paper stack this was the um, square design and I'll just show you the other ones so here we are in Mango Melody so this would make a great man's card congratulations card thinking of you um, just a pretty sort of country style especially with the gingham so this gingham is from our gingham 6 inches by 6 inch paper stack and then we have this one, there's a little bit more um, going on in terms of the background. And then just a simple one there, similar to the one that I've just done. So that was our coffee and card this week. I hope you like the designs. I am going to try and do a Facebook Live each um, Monday afternoon, probably around 5 o'clock. I'm a little bit later today. And then I will upload that to YouTube later stage so that anybody who doesn't have Facebook can access the videos and see what we get up to. One thing that um, I have recent, recently um, released are some paper stacks to go with the note cards and envelopes. 
So when you buy a pack of 20 note cards and envelopes, you can also buy from me um, 20 layers of coloured card and 20 layers of white card that go on the top. So that you're basically, you can just stamp and you're ready to go. So if you're interested in those, you'll be able to see those in my sample packs or you can just message me and ask me for more details. They're £3.50 and you get 20 coloured card, 20 white layers and then you also get the off cut. So all these pieces like here, because they come out of A4 sheets, you'll get a whole selection of those. So, And I'm also going to do that with patterned paper so you'll, you can look out for that. So thanks very much for joining me today. Um, I hope that's come out okay. Um, I can only tell when it finishes and it uploads. So fingers crossed I'm not on my side um, talking to you today and that you can see the samples that we've made. Thanks very much for joining us. I'll just leave you with my card. So if this is the first time you've joined us, those are all my details. So I'm based in Brackley in the UK. I have a website, geminicrafts.co.uk and I also have a fantastic team of ladies called the Creative Gems and um, they're all around the UK, mostly local I have to say um, and they're great, they do the same thing that I do. Some of them are hobby demos and they just do their own thing and that's perfectly fine and some of them run it as a business doing the same thing. So thanks Anne for popping on. I'm afraid I'm just about to wrap up. <laughs> I do apologise. Um, those are my details. I'll upload this straight away onto Facebook in our Gemini Crafts um, Facebook page. And then you'll be able to catch it later on YouTube as well. Thanks for joining me today. Thank you.